Before we begin, Discord, I have that. If you want to join my public Discord server and hang out with me and play video games with other epic gamers, then go to discord.gg slash Ouija and join. Link will be in the description. If you don't have an account, then get with the times and make one. It's free. What are you, what are you still using? Skype? What are you, what are you, grandpa? You, you an old, you an old bin looking type of guy? Now you see what I did there, I tied the video promotion to the video subject seamlessly. I did a, I did a Star Wars reference and the video is about Star Wars. I don't know why I'm still rambling, just play the video. God damn. I'm sorry, but can we just take a moment to appreciate how stunningly gorgeous this game looks? Uh, oh, okay, apparently not! Fine, fuck you! So this game mode is called Strike, which is basically capture the flag. In this scenario, rebels defend a thing and we try to take the thing. Oh, sorry, I mean, we do or do not take the thing. There is no try. This is what we call the Metal Gear Star Wars strategy, where we run around and sneak in from behind- Oh, wait, shh, 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 I, I hear footsteps coming, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute? Fuck with me. I don't know, I'm not hearing him anymore, the coast must be clear- ah! Got him. Okay, so I just realized we're only six minutes into this match and we've got 13 soldiers left. We started with 100. I hate to say it, but I don't think we're winning this one. The resistance forces have delayed us for too long. You have failed. All right, this time will be different, you'll see. I just have to remember the famous Yoda quote. Mm, get good, shitter. You know, I don't want to be making any excuses or anything. However, when fighting in a dense-ass forest like this, it really doesn't help to be clad head-to-toe -to -toe in blinding white armor. You might as well paint a giant bullseye on the fattest part of my ass, because there is no way it's getting out of here unkicked. Yeah, I think it's time I go full Vietnam on these goobers and burn them to a crisp. By fire be burnt! Wait, what? Does the flame trooper fucking suck? Here I come, I am Cinnamon. Ooh, look at this jackaroni. Get him out of here. Thank you very much. Oh, don't you think for a second I forgot about you, big fella. You're out of here, too. I defeated Edgelord Prime. Wow, I can't believe I just killed Anakin Skywalker. Ding, ding, round two, boys. I'm gonna do great this time. By fire be purge! What the fuck? The flame trooper does fucking suck! What's great about the officer is that you get to put down your very own sentry gun, and anything that passively plays the game and does all of the work for me is great in my book. Oh, you think you got me, big boy? Turret! Hey! In this man's whole life, thank you very much. Shout out to this guy, by the way. Keep saving that ammo, big boy. Yeah, hey there, Mr. First Order. I see you got our artifact, which I totally understand and respect and all, but I'm just gonna have to, uh, rain justice from above! Get the fuck off my planet! No, it's nothing personal, guys. It's just, I gotta get rid of all of you. Thank you all for being so understanding. This game fucking owns. So I've come to the expert conclusion that the Rebel Rocket Trooper is without question the best unit in the entire game. You got a blaster that kills things in two hits, a rocket launcher that kills things in one hits, and a jetpack that makes it hard for you to ever be hit. As long as I'm playing this chick, there is absolutely zero way we're losing this game. They reached the extraction point. It's too late. Whatever they wanted with that thing, they have it now. Huh? Now I don't really want to be that guy. But where is my fucking team at? There's a Star Destroyer docked for repairs in the ship. Vulnerable, far from defenseless. Okay. So as you can see, we have three different ships to choose from. You might be thinking, this is the all-rounder, this is for bursting down enemy fighters, and this is for hitting the objectives. But more accurate descriptions would be, I'm not as good as the bomber. I'm also not as good as the bomber. I have become death, destroyer of worlds. You want to play the objective, you play the bomber. You want to exterminate all life throughout the known galaxy, you play the bomber. You have a million billion health and you really have to try to make your guns overheat. EA, this shit is busted. But it's also the most fun I've ever had in any video game ever, so please never change it. Listen, I understand. I should probably be playing the objective, but I think single-handedly taking out a whole fleet of ties is a perfectly valid objective for this mission in of itself. Oh shit. 
Boba just hit us with the base cannon. Hey, get over here, you jag. Call me a Sarlacc, because I'm about to take this dum-dum out. Sorry, kiddo. Should have been flying the bomber if you didn't want to die like an idiot. This is a bit sacrilege, I know, but I've got so many points, so we're going to try out Poe Dameron, the most expensive ship we can buy, who doesn't even have as much health as my bomber. God damn it. Ooh. I gotta admit... It ain't bad at all. My boy's got, like, S-plus tier handling. Nothing in this universe is getting away from me. I, I think the best way to describe this ship would be... Boom, bam, bop. Bada, bop, boom. Pow! We've done it. We've loosened the Empire's grip on this entire system. Yay. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? All right, just so people in the comments don't yell at me for the sake of showing off the game, I will select a different ship this time. We've lost too many. We'll retreat to fight another day. Lesson learned. All forces repel the rebels' assault. Oh, finally. It's about time I get to play as the good guys. The great thing about playing as the Empire is that your primary objective is to just kill as many enemies as possible, which is what I tunnel anyway. Shooting stationary objects is great, but that's work I leave for the other guys. Also, if you couldn't tell, the Bomber Master race is still very much so prevalent even on the other side. The TIE Bomber plays a little bit differently, and I think I prefer the Y-Wing, but the fact of the matter remains that if you aren't picking this thing, you're picking wrong. This ship, this ship, man, every kill, it's like... Oh shit, I can play as Darth Maul! Okay, never mind, fuck the Bomber! Oh, wow. That is, uh, embarrassing. And that won us the game, of course. GG and no Ole. The rebels will think twice before daring to attack these yards again. I like the Starfighters a lot. But as much as I do enjoy this, there's still one game mode we're yet to try. The mode that this game is by far promoting more than anything else we've seen. The mode that has absolutely everyone on the internet abuzz. You know I've been saving the best for last. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because here we go! Loot boxes! Whoa! Oh yeah. Yeah, open that box! Oh, it's it's over! It's over! Game of the year! Say it with me, boys! Game of the year! Oh yeah, and there's Galactic Assault. I guess we could talk about that too. So the trick to this game mode is that you always want to start as the sniper. So as soon as the match begins, you can fire blindly into the enemies that spawn like 20 miles away from you. And if you just keep doing that and you never stop shooting, I promise you, you will get top of the leaderboards every single time. Every time! Mm, look at those kills! Wait, is there like an objective I should be doing? In this particular game mode, droids are attacking the Naboo throne room with an armored MTT. And to damage it, you gotta fire ion missiles, which are scattered throughout the city for God knows what reason. If the MTT reaches the throne room, eh, don't even worry about it. With me fighting, that's not even gonna happen. <sighs> you know, I know I'm gonna get a ton of shit for saying this, but now really is the best time, so here goes. The prequels were good films, and they brought us by far the most interesting period in Star Wars history, along with the greatest piece of Star Wars media ever made. And if you disagree, then I am going to politely respect your opinion, my friend. Now, the best part about Galactic Assault is that you have the ability to say, fuck you, I want to play Starfighters instead. Unless you lose the first point like we just did, then the game says, no, fuck you, play shoot mode. Well, somehow, my team lost phase one, so now I guess it's up to me to single-handedly save the planet. What's up, fuckers? Oh, oh, God, no! Fuck the Republic and fuck this planet! Droids can have it! Uh, we're so close. Call me Hodor, because I'm going to go hold this door. And that's Boba Fett. I'm done. I'm out. See you, boys, back on Camino. Good luck. Have fun. This game is such a... A fucking madhouse. Ray, thank you for hopping in your time machine and coming back to save us. Maybe now we have a fighting chance. Oh, God! Sector is not clear! Get that big red boy out of my palace! Wow! 
we still lost the doors, God damn it! Come on, lads, we've almost got him! Just don't let him take the throne! One more kill and then we win- Oh my god! You fools! You have unleashed the full wrath of my Mary Sue Trump card! I have no idea how to play this character, but that isn't gonna stop me! Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hey, look at that, we won. <laughs> Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Separatists are pulling back and our fleet's arriving in system. I'd call this a victory. Cool. Oh, finally, we get to play as the good guys again. Oh, God, my droid's defective. Take him back. Hey, guys. You, uh, you want to help us take Naboo? No? Okay, that's fine. Assholes. Again, the best part of this game mode is that you can just say fuck it and rain hellfire from above. And it's especially nice when the game lays out big red targets telling you where exactly to rain that hellfire. The simple truth is that if the clones don't have good anti-air, this phase is a total cakewalk. You see? This is what happens when you don't got good air defense. First you lose your front door, then you lose your little locked doors, and then you start to lose your stupid throne room. This right here has to be the easiest game of my entire life. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, I will say. Just, just skip, skip to the part where we win the game, please. Superior weapons and programming have triumphed. The palace has fallen, as has the moon. Thank you, I appreciate it. So that's basically the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. I know it ended like two weeks ago, but hey, better late than never, right? Anyway, it's time to answer the all-important question that everybody has on their mind. Is this game good? Yes, I actually had a really good time with it, and I'm looking forward to the full release on November 10th. Maybe I'll make some more videos on it, or maybe I won't. If you all hate it, I don't know, that's kind of up to you. Uh, Discord, again, join my server, it, link is in the description, and I got a new Patreon, so give me money on that as well. Okay, cool. Uh, may the Force be with you.